This is Generation Stadia, giving you that daily dose of everything and anything cloud gaming related, and today we're going to be going over some more Stadia news. Now today's video is going to be relatively short, but I did want to push this out because it is pretty important. We just got confirmation on some Ubisoft titles that are headed to Stadia. As we all know, some of their flagship franchises are launching day and date on Stadia, that includes Watch Dogs Legion, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and Far Cry 6. Along with that, we also know that Uplay Plus is on its way to Google Stadia. But many question just how many games would be available. Well, by the looks of it, we're starting to see hints of that, because Google Stadia's blog post today just revealed a bunch of Ubisoft classics that are heading to Stadia. Now before we take a look at all of them, I want to make it very clear. Google didn't give us specific dates for when these would be arriving, but they did say Holiday 2020, and that's right around the corner. But now let's dive into all the titles heading to Stadia real soon by our friends at Ubisoft. First up is Watch Dogs 2. This is a fantastic game and honestly if you haven't played it I highly recommend you do. It built on everything that really made Watch Dogs a really cool concept and improved the gameplay tenfold. It features a pretty cool cast of characters as well as an awesome protagonist. Not to mention, one of the characters in this game will be having their own DLC storyline for Watch Dogs Legion, so it might be a good idea to actually catch up on this game when you get the chance. Next up is Watch Dogs, the original that started it all. It's a bit crazy to think that this was a next-gen launch title back when the PS4 and Xbox One were considered next-gen. It's been quite some time, but this game started a franchise, and there's a reason for that. It offered a very unique take on the open world sandbox style gameplay that's best known in franchises like Grand Theft Auto and Saints Row. If I'm being honest, I'm still pretty surprised just how well this game holds up visually even this many years later. And while I will admit the gameplay isn't as refined as Watch Dogs 2, it's totally worth checking out. And much like its successor, the main character of this game will also have their own standalone story DLC in Watch Dogs Legion. Aiden Pierce was actually a really cool character so I'm happy to see him being brought back into the future and I can't wait to see what the storyline is for him. Now let's move over to another staple franchise in the Ubisoft lineup, and that's Assassin's Creed. As we all know, Assassin's Creed Valhalla is on its way and we've already got to play Assassin's Creed Odyssey, but we never got to play the first entry that really started to change the Assassin's Creed formula, and I'm talking about Assassin's Creed Origin. Taking place in Egypt, this provides a very different landscape than what most Assassin's Creed games have offered. It provided a very good storyline, and honestly, I probably prefer this game over Odyssey despite Odyssey really excelling in certain ways. Maybe it's because I was just so amazed at how much Assassin's Creed had changed from this and the last one, but that's just my personal take. Then there's Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Now truth be told, I actually haven't played this one, and it's the only game in the franchise I've yet to play. I'm really looking forward to the release of it on Google Stadia because I 100% will go back and check it out. This one is set place in London and is at the height of the Industrial Revolution. This still has a lot of the classic mechanics you will remember from earlier entries in the franchise, but this did include some new mechanics into the stealth system. From what I've heard, they really nailed down the setting and era in this game, so I'm really looking forward to actually exploring it. Now for the last Assassin's Creed game that's being added to the Stadia lineup, well, it's Assassin's Creed Unity. Now we gotta be honest here, this game launched to several issues and I'm pretty sure most of us can remember them. That said, a lot of it has been fixed now and I would highly recommend you go back and play it. Assassin's Creed Unity stays true to all the original mechanics you remember and for that reason alone, I'm really excited to go back and play it. It was also the only game to offer cooperative play in the franchise and it's a pretty unique experience that I recommend you try out. And I must say, I don't know how they achieved it back then, but this game still looks amazing to date. And now let's move on to the Far Cry franchise. I, like many others, am super excited to get Far Cry 6 day and date on Stadia, but it's nice to know that we'll be able to get our Far Cry fix earlier than that. And it starts with Far Cry New Dawn. This is the entry previous to Far Cry 6, and it takes place in a post-apocalyptic Hope County, Montana. You'll be leading the fight against highwaymen as they seek to take over the last remaining resources available. 
You'll get to build up your own base from scratch to defend yourself against the highwaymen, and it's a pretty fun experience overall. I should also say, this is one of the most colorful post-apocalyptic games I've ever played. Stadia users can also expect to get Far Cry 5. This one, also taking place in Hope County, Montana, is actually set before Far Cry New Dawn. You'll be taking on a pretty fanatical doomsday cult, so get ready for some crazy encounters. It'll be your task to build up the resistance to liberate the community stuck within Hope County. The main villain of this game is extremely memorable, and I would recommend going for a playthrough. Just be careful of all the wildlife in this game because you'll run into quite a lot of it. As for the last game they confirmed in today's blog post, well it's none other than Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. This is one of their newer franchises and we've all gotten to play Breakpoint, but this one actually stands out quite a lot in comparison. From my own personal experience, I actually think Wildlands is a better game than Breakpoint. It's much more of a tactical shooter first and looter shooter second, in fact I would be hesitant to even call it a looter shooter. Breakpoint actually received a fair bit of criticism for the change in direction, so Wildlands may be up your alley if you weren't a fan of what you got out of Breakpoint. The game's sandbox open world also offered a ton of variety and it was very fun to explore. Now that covers all the Ubisoft titles they announced in today's blog post. It's really great to see the partnership between Ubisoft and Google Stadia be as strong as it is because it's really bolstering the Stadia library in a big way. I'm sure they're also bringing a bunch of these titles over to really bolster the offering of Uplay Plus once it launches on Stadia. And let's not forget, these are only some of the Ubisoft games coming. Already confirmed coming to the platform is Just Dance 2021, Immortals Phoenix Rising, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World The Game, and Riders Republic. All that's left to figure out now is when all these games will be launching on Stadia, and what date Uplay Plus will come to the platform as well. I also have little to no doubt that more titles will be on their way. After all, we did get an ESRB leak saying that Rainbow Six Siege will be coming to Stadia as well. While it hasn't been officially confirmed now, this definitely makes me think it's going to happen. Either way, that covers everything I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out. And if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. Today's end of video message is going to be a simple question. What part of this week's announcements got you most excited for Google Stadia? It's no doubt that there have been a ton of announcements this week and the Stadia team has been on a roll. Between the Good Stuff event, Cyberpunk coming day and date, and all these Ubisoft titles landing on Stadia real soon, I'm actually not sure which I prefer the most. But I will admit, having all this information out there is definitely getting me hyped up for next week's event. Do let me know your answers in the comments section below, I look forward to reading them. As always, thank you for watching, this has been Generation Stadia, giving you that daily dose of everything and anything cloud gaming related. The Gen S community is over 5000 strong and growing by the day, and until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds.